On 28th of March, the Ministry of Finance tabled before Parliament five tax amendment bills, including excise duty, tax procedures code bill, stamp duty bill, value added tax bill, and income tax bill 2024. The Committee of Finance of Parliament has started scrutinizing the tax bills following a meeting with ministry officials and Uganda Revenue Authority to defend the tax proposals bills for the next financial year 2024-2025. State Minister of Finance Henry Msasizi has assured the committee how much they expect to collect from taxes if the bills are passed in the next financial year. The ministry to have shared with us before making this presentation the short term economic impact of these proposals. What are expected from both revenue and administrative? adjustments, the cleanup, we overall expect to, to generate 1.9 trillion. This is what we are projected in the budget. It can be itemized. When we appeared before cabinet, we had itemized costing. Among taxes that are being brought to the house is 100 shillings on every litre of petrol and diesel, while 300 shillings is to be introduced on paraffin per litre. So when you increase the price of diesel, there must be a proportionate increase in kerosene so that the price of kerosene makes it, uh, makes it difficult for kerosene to, to, to be to, 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 for kerosene to be used for adulteration because when kerosene is cheaper, it's far cheaper, then it can easily be used to, to, to adulterate uh, diesel. At least 5% is going to be introduced on land sales in the country, especially in cities and municipalities. And uh, if you sell, the difference between the cost and the consideration you have received will be a gain which will be subject to tax at 5%. The ministry is also proposing a 0.5% tax of every withdrawal transactions from the agent banking. Being done by extension because a mobile money transaction, a, mobile, a, 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 a transaction by a mobile agent is being done by that bank. As in this been taking place, haven't you been uh, taxing uh, the, 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 the banks? What we are trying to introduce is to equalize. We are saying mobile money continue but also other platforms that provide similar transactions be able to be taxed so that there is fairness. URA has collected 287 billion shillings from minerals, but I've also said why they halted collection of taxes from exportation of gold. A bit of a, uh, of a, 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 a halt on the collection of taxes, uh, export levy on gold, but... That has been resolved. We are waiting for a statutory instrument from the Minister of Energy to enable us to collect the export levy of $200. Uh, dollars. And I think that will be per kilo. And Other items that will see new taxes imposed on them are lime, tile adhesive used in construction, with each bag getting an increment of 500 shillings in the next financial year. Jumakiria, NTV.